सो गाइस हियर आई हैव टेकन नंबर्स अरे व्हिच कंटेंस फाइव एलिमेंट्स ओके नाउ आवर टास्क इज लेट्स प्रिंट द सम ऑफ दिस नंबर्स सो लेट्स प्रिंट सम ऑफ दिस नंबर्स अरे ओके सो फॉर दैट लेट्स यूज फॉर ऑफ लूप सो आई एम गोना राइट समथिंग कॉल्ड लेट सम इक्वल टू 0 ओके एंड लेट्स राइट फॉर लेट आइटम ऑफ नंबर्स एंड लेट मी ओपन कर्ली ब्रैकेट्स एंड हियर लेट्स राइट सम प्लस और इक्वल टू आइटम आइटम सिंपल now here i will print that i'll print some console dot log i will write sum okay now let me come here and let me write node app dot js because it's an app dot js file so let me click on enter yeah you see guys now we got answer 15 because the sum of this 1 2 3 4 5 is 15 okay just in case if you are not aware of this for of loop it's just like a for loop guys so it literally means for every item of this numbers array perform this action Okay, let item of numbers means let item of every number, I mean every element of this array. Simple, that is a for of loop. And we are executing that and we are printing sum. Okay, nice. Now, let's do the same thing with reduce method. Okay, let's print the same thing with reduce method. Okay, before that, what is reduce method actually? So guys, reduce method in JavaScript executes a reducer function for each array element. That means it will execute a callback function for every element of this array. Right, it will have a callback function that that method will have a callback function and it will execute that callback function for every element of this array. Okay, just like for each loop and it will return a single accumulated value. You're going to understand what this accumulated means by the end of the video, but just understand that it will return a single accumulated value by executing callback function on every element of the array. Examples of that single values are max, min, average, sum, right? That is what we are doing here. We are doing sum right here. So let's write that. So for every array, we will have reduce method. So let's take this numbers array. I'm going to write here numbers, numbers dot reduce. You see, we'll get dot reduce and let's open. Yeah. Now this will take two parameters. One is callback function. Let me write here callback function. Okay. And let me open this one. Yeah. And second one is initial value. Okay. So I'll type here zero. We will see what this initial value in a moment. Just understand it will take two parameters. One is callback function and second parameter is initial value. Okay, now this callback function will also take two parameters. Okay, first parameter is accumulator. Second parameter is current value. Okay, now let's write here return accumulator plus current value. So I'll write CRR, right? Now let's come here. Let's print this one. So to print that, let me uh, store this in a variable. So I'm going to type let sum to equal to. Yeah, awesome. Now let's type here console dot log. I'm going to type here sum2. Okay. Now let me write node app.js. You see guys, now also we got 15, right? It's, it's working. The same thing is happening here also, right? Now, what is this accumulator and current value? To understand that, let's print that. So I'm going to write here console.log. Let's write uh, accumulator ACC. And here let's write, let's print that ACC. Okay. Now let me copy this thing. I'll copy this one and I'll paste it again here. Okay. And here let's put current value C U R R and let's write here C U R R the second parameter of this function. Now let's clear this one. Let's write node app dot JS. You see, we got uh, some values first accumulator is zero. It's printing zero, right? And current value is one. This is one iteration. Okay. And again, now accumulator is one current value is two. That means current value is literally the current element of this array okay it is same as it is same as this item okay it will always point to the current element while it is iterating okay that is about current value but coming to accumulator whatever this function will return that will go to accumulator for example in this function we are we are returning accumulator plus current value that means for every iteration for every iteration for every number this callback function will run and it will return accumulator plus current value Okay, then in first iteration, accumulator value is zero, current value is one. In second scenario, accumulator value is one, current value is two, because the second element of this array is two. That's why current value is two. But how come accumulator value is zero in first place and one in second place? So guys, what is happening here is that in first iteration, let's write here one. Okay, let me write here one. In first iteration, accumulator is taking the zero. It's taking the value as zero. Why? Because we have provided initial value as zero. 
this is the main purpose of this initial value when you provide initial value if you provide whatever the value you provide in initial place at first place this accumulator will take this zero and after that whatever the operation this function is returning whatever the value that this function is returning that will go and sit in the accumulator value so that's why in first iteration accumulator equal to zero and current equal to one and as a end this will become uh, one because we are printing accumulator plus current zero plus one one now acc equal to one because the result of this is one right then that will go to accumulator so it is one now second iteration acc equal to one we all know that now current value equal to two now total one plus two three right so now accumulator value will be three simple one plus two three now in third iteration in third iteration accumulator will be three right accumulator will be three and current value will be uh what is the current value it should also be three yeah it is also three okay now total of this value will be six right now accumulator will become six now same thing happens in fourth also accumulator equal to four current value equal to four right now accumulator will become eight simple and again in fifth iteration acc will take uh what is that eight and current value will be five current value equal to five and eight plus five fifteen so final accumulator value equal to 15 that is what i am trying to tell now i hope you understand what this accumulator is doing and what is its purpose okay and what is the purpose of current value right now let me uh, minimize this little bit okay yeah now let me ask you a question what if i don't provide the zero here what if i don't provide zero so let me remove this one so to understand how it will behave how this reduce method will behave if you don't provide initial value let's see that so let me clear this one first okay and let me write node app dot js you see guys still we got output as 15 that means same output as previous when we have zero as initial value okay same output and accumulator is one previously when we have zero accumulator was zero but now there is no accumulator value i mean there is no initial value sorry but accumulator value is one so what is happening so guys what happening is that when you don't provide initial value this accumulator will take first element of the array okay as its initial value it will take first element of this array that means accumulator will become acc equal to 1 and current value will be set to second element of the array that means 2 so that means current equal to 2 hence final accumulator output equal to 2 1 plus 2 3 simple and here second step again accumulator equal to uh, what is that 3 and current value equal to 3 that means 6 total output 6 right sorry 6 again same thing accumulator equal to 6 and current value is 4 which is 10 right same thing accumulator sorry accumulator equal to 10 and current value equal to 5 which means total value 15 okay so this is how it will behave when we have initial value as 0 and when we don't provide any initial value okay now let me show you one interesting thing instead of 0 here in the place of initial value i'll put 2 okay sorry two now let's see what will get in the output so let me clear the console yeah and let's write here node app dot js so we got 17 let's see what is accumulator value you see guys accumulator value is 2 now so that is why in the output we got 17 because the starting value it is it has taken 2 so it started it started iteration from 2 2 plus 1 3 like that okay the same thing here instead of 1 it's 2 simple okay so this is how it will work with and without initial values now let's simplify this function that means we don't need these two because we understood how it works right yeah now let's convert this function into arrow function so we don't want this function uh yeah is that it what else we are missing yeah we are missing this one yeah awesome now let me put it back to zero simple yeah now it is arrow function so in arrow functions when we have only one line of code and when we are returning something in that one line we don't need this one so let me remove this written and we don't need this curly brackets as well so let's remove them okay let me put this in one line yeah awesome you see guys with in just one line we are printing that it's little bit elegant and neat right to read compare into this one we don't need to take any separate variable and we don't need to use all this loop we just need to have one variable sum to and we can directly apply the method on that on that array okay so let me print let's see what we are getting let's clear this and let's write node app dot js you see still we got output as 
so now let's go to second step so in the second step let's take an array of objects so to save time here i've already have so let me copy this one and let me paste it here yeah so here we have items array and this array contains list of these objects now our task is we need to print some of these prices so we need to calculate sorry some here okay now same thing right same thing let's copy this thing i'm gonna copy it i'm gonna save it here and let's write here some three right and let's write here items because we have we are dealing with items array, right so let's write here items simple now what is this current so guys here current is representing this object right each object previously we have elements only elements not like normal elements not objects array of elements so here current means it is pointing to one two three four but here current is pointing to each object and object contains two properties now i cannot add accumulator plus this complete object right i need to access this price because we want to print some of these prices right so that is why let's write current dot because to access things that are sitting inside object we use dot operator so i'm going to write current dot price so p r i c e price right now let's print that let me write console dot log and here i'm going to write s u m 3 sum 3 right awesome now let's write here node app dot js you see guys now we got 15 that means it is taking initial value as 0 and then it is calculating it's taking 0 plus current dot price that means 5 0 plus 5 5 next 5 plus 10 15 15 plus 15 30 30 plus 20 50 okay i hope you guys got a clarity on this one right now let's do one interesting thing before that let's create an object so i'm gonna write const obj uh, const obj equal to let's give a property so i will write name name equal to let's say shikant okay yeah now let's try to print that name so i'm gonna write console dot log we can write object dot name using dot dot operator we can access this one right in the same way we can also access that using object literals so i can write uh, obj of name right it will print the same thing let's see that let, let me write node app dot js you see guys we got srikant both times and also using this object literal i can assign properties so we can write something called object and then inside this sorry inside this let's write uh, the key name that is h okay and we can assign this as let's say 25 okay now let me print that object i will write console dot log I will write obj right awesome now let's write here node app dot js you see guys now we got extra property which is age 25 we have done that using object literal syntax okay now coming to our concept let's take a new array so i'm gonna take this one to save time let's copy this one yeah let's paste it here yeah awesome so let me change this name it's weird so let me put it uh, a3 sorry a3 something a3 okay now our task is we need to convert this convert this array into object simple so here let's take a new object so i'm gonna write const uh, converted object okay so here let's write a3 dot reduce okay reduce and again we know it's a callback function it will take a callback function and that contains two parameters but here first parameter let's name it as obj okay and second parameter let's name it as current okay doesn't matter now let's take arrow function and here let's write ha huh guys before this i forgot to tell one thing i have told you this callback function will take only two parameters right but along with two parameters it will take two more parameters so total four and third parameter is index which is nothing but literally index of this array for example this is zero this is one okay and again fourth one is array so i'm gonna write here console dot log let's write index okay and in this new line let's write console dot log let's print array right now let me write here zero as initial value right and now let's come here and let's type node app dot js okay yeah you see guys 
it printed index starting from where it is yeah zero starting from zero and then and then it printed array we don't use this much but these are just available for us just in case we need okay now let me remove this one we don't need this array okay and let's hide this one i mean let's comment this once okay now our task is we need to convert this a3 array into object right so for that first let's pass empty array instead of zero here so i'm gonna pass empty array right we all know that whatever that you pass here that will be taken by this object that will be that will be taken by this accumulator in first at first right so that is why i can write obj and brackets because with object literal syntax we can do that right this is an object obj is an object because we are passing it empty object that is equal to obj right so that is why i am able to do this one okay now inside this one i will pass index right index so let's type here index and that will be equal to curr current value okay and let's write here return obj object okay now let's write here console.log let's see what we'll get let's write converted uh, sorry converted okay it's not showing up a uh, converted object okay uh, is there any spelling wrong oh sorry it's converted yeah awesome now let's clear this one let's write here node sorry node app dot js yeah you see guys that array is converted into object you see object and first index is zeroth index is path and first index is local i mean first key is uh, one and value is local okay it converted into object with key value pairs that same array which we have here okay so this is one more example of using this reduce method we can convert arrays into objects okay so we have seen how to print sum of array array and object and we have seen how to convert array to object okay so in conclusion what i want to say is that this reduce method always written a single accumulated value which could be maximum minimum average some difference etc like this we have done some right like that you can do minimum average like that okay if you found this video useful please give it a like and subscribe guys i'll see you in the next video thank you